Okay, I want to do a report from a Texas pro. Yeah, I just uh, witnessed prejudging and I want to give you my opinion on uh, 212 and open division. 212, I see Ahmed Al Sadani winning the show. He has just too much uh, of a beauty in the shape. Everything is there, symmetrical, aesthetic, no weak points. He was not in Olympia condition but it was good enough to win. I really appreciate his physique. He was still not dry enough. He has a deep separation, but you can see there is a little bit of water still under the skin. Uh, second place goes to Austin Carr. Austin made a huge improvement since Chicago. I mean, in Chicago, he really overspilled. It was really hard to watch him because uh, i've seen him in vegas he was in great condition he has one of the best legs in the uh, whole ibb not just 212 and uh, he brought it i mean uh, he was super confident he knows he was in shape uh, legs were crazy uh, legs were beating ahmed but this uh, whole picture i still uh, uh, see it going ahmed's way there was too much aesthetics Symmetry, proportion, uh, balance, and uh, uh, beauty. Third place, I would put Martin Gomez. Martin was in the best condition in the whole lineup. Um, maybe uh, Jason Herbert uh, could squeak uh, in front of him, and uh, I think judges are leading that way. But Martin really brought the conditioning that you can just uh, hope for. Strider, loose, uh, rock hard, dry, you know. So I, I think he, sh he should be awarded for his conditioning. Uh, finally, top five is uh, Cisterino. You know, it's a veteran of the sport. He came in a good condition, and I think he should really round up the top five. Open division. Okay, um, as soon as they came on the stage, I mean, uh, uh, Steve was favorite, and Steve brought it. He is a big and thick and full, hard, you know, it's uh, Steve Kuklo that we know of and possibly one of his best outings, big as can be. But uh, I must say, uh, Ian Valier, uh, especially in this initial um, presentation, he was ripped, dry, big, full, everything. I mean, he has that uh, more pronounced V taper. So for aesthetic standpoint, you know, standing right next to um, Steve Kuklo. Steve maybe overpowers him in fullness, thickness, but uh, um, Ian is more streamlined. He still has a, as wide shoulders in, as uh, Steve Kuklo has, uh, but it was really good condition and uh, his quads was showing this time, big time, razor sharp. Uh, side poses are always uh, his strong point. And then from behind, let me tell you, the glutes were there, uh, back the biases was happening, you know, everything was there. So the way I see it, um, if I'm a judge, I would uh, probably go with Ian so far. With, I must mention, uh, Phil Klahar, oh my God, 47 years old, brought it again, and possibly even a little bit better condition than in Tampa. A little bit flatter, a little bit flatter, I must say, but uh, dry, straight, it, you know, everything is there. So now when you look at the conditioning standpoint, uh, I, I say it's between Phil and Ian. Size is between Steve and Ian, and uh, Phil is, you know, kind of missing out. He still has a little bit lengthy legs. You know, so the quadriceps, especially that sweet lateralis came about, but uh, uh, small joints, which should be advantage, you know, knee joint uh, yeah, would be good, but to be the big calves, when you have a smaller calves and a small knee joint, you know, it uh, makes you appear a little bit lengthy right there. But um, you can go either way. These top three are really top three. Uh, the fourth, fifth, and sixth guys don't come close. Which way judge is gonna go, uh, I'm not sure. Um, Steve is uh, from Texas. He's veteran of the sport, he needs to qualify. Um, he needs to harden up a little bit. I think he was fully loaded with glycogen, maybe even more than he needed. Maybe that was his strategy to just overpower everybody. 
you know, because he is uh, having that frame that once filled up, you're like, oh my God, how can you beat 285 pounds? I think that's uh, what he said he is. Now, fourth, fifth, six would go to uh, Hassan, uh, who we all know is muscle phenomenon. He has so much thick, striated muscle, round muscle belly, is just crazy legs, crazy shoulders, arms, everything is there. And we all, all want to see him in a little bit drier condition. Initially, uh, he maybe appeared that he's a little bit better condition, but the end of the prejudging, I think it was about the same showing. So um, by a position on the stage, he's probably fifth. Uh, I see him fourth. I see um, Mohammed el uh, also battling him for the fourth place. You know, he has improved, he was tight, he was controlling his uh, midsection, he is wide, complete, uh, you know, in a better condition than uh, Martin Fitzwater. Now, Martin, uh, Brad Wilkins' uh, uh, training partner, is almost like his twin. They look identical, oh my God. You know, I, I don't know two training partners that look more alike than Brad and Martin. Martin is a young kid, uh, future, I mean, full round wide v tapered everything is there if he brought conditioning of his training partners brett you know he would no question be uh, in the fourth place but uh, i see that it is still a challenge for four four fifth six between uh, martin um uh, muhammad and hassan okay uh, this is uh, my opinion after the prejudging, uh, we'll see you after the finals.